In this tutorial, we're going to check out Breezy Cloud. It's one of the biggest game-changing features I've seen in page builders. It is quite awesome, literally. And we're going to check it out in this video. I promised it to you in the previous Breezy video I made. I've linked to that one in the description down below. So if you haven't seen that one, I go through all the features of Breezy and how it works and all the cool stuff you can do with it. And then this one is an extension to that, showing you how to use Breezy Cloud. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi and like the video. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab and we're getting started right now. To get started with Brizzy Cloud, just head over to wplearninglab.com forward slash resources. There's a link in the description down below that will take you there. Click on the Brizzy page builder. You come right here to Brizzy and click on try Brizzy Cloud. That'll take you to this page here. And I'm not gonna go over the regular features of the builder in WordPress. I have a tutorial for that, link to in the description down below. This is about Brizzy Cloud. Cloud is everything the WordPress builder does, but it's not in WordPress, it's hosted on the Brizzy servers, which means you don't have to install WordPress. You can make a one-page website without having WordPress there. You just create it right in Brizzy Cloud. It's a pretty cool system, a lot of great advantages to it. There's information on this page about it. If you scroll down, some of the cooler advantages I want to point out to you are, first of all, this is brand new. So these things are still coming, a lot of them. But you can have team members. That's currently included. So you can have other people collaborating on your projects. Mobile ready, sub accounts for your clients so you can manage clients better. And cool features coming in the future. Scroll down here. Integration to these apps. I'm looking forward to Zapier because really, if you have that one, you can integrate all the others just using that one. So I really only use Zapier for most integrations. And down here, we have funnels coming soon. This is a powerful add-on. Of course, analytics and tracking is powerful. Collaboration, also powerful. But funnels is really where the money's made in a business, online business. And so to get started, it's free. If we scroll right to the very bottom, we have a $0 plan. I don't know if it'll be free forever, but it's free right now for unlimited landing pages, unlimited team members, unlimited leads, unlimited page views. You can export your HTML and CSS and post that onto your own server if you want. You don't have to use Brizzy Cloud if you don't want to. And live sync to your server, which is the one that we're going to do today. And we're going to actually have Brizzy operating on our servers and synced to our servers. And it's going to be super convenient. So when you're ready, just click on start for free right here. I will sign you in and you can just click on create new page. Now I have a new page. Let's give it a name. Let's call it my first landing page. And then we click on edit page right here. And from here on out, it looks pretty much the exact same as the builder in WordPress. So we can just go ahead and I'm gonna add a page. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through all the different features of the builder because the other tutorial does that. I'm gonna show you to use Brizzy Cloud. So we have our blocks here if we want, but I'm gonna to go to layouts because I wanna add a full layout. And I'm gonna find a cool looking one. I like these bright orange flashes in this one here. So I'm gonna add this home page. You can also add any one of the other pages. All these layouts that we saw just a moment ago, let's go back to layouts. All these are multiple page layouts, except for this one it looks like. The ones that look like they have, they have a stack, those are all multi-page layouts. When you hover over, this one says one layout. This one has six. This one has eight. This one has one, one, 10. So most of these are multi-page layouts. Pick one you like. I'm gonna choose this home page with the bright orange, what's that, sparks flying around. I like the look of that. And we can go in and edit any of these just like we do. Let's call this the welding company. We can edit any of that, just point and click using the options that we see in the other video. And I'm going to go ahead and publish this because I want to show you how to sync this with your server, which is really the, one of the coolest parts of Brizzy Cloud. I'm going to click on publish in the bottom right here. Once published, I'm going to close this tab. I'm going to refresh out here. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. And here we have our URL to this page. If we click on there, it gives us some options for setting our page up in different places. First, let's take a look at it. Click on this little arrow. We have our passion fruit URL up here, not really where you want to be sending people to sign up for things or buy your products. So we want to change that for sure. But this is the live page now on the internet, accessible to the entire world. It took what? two minutes, three minutes with me talking the whole time. If you just did this on your own, it would take even less than that. So now this URL is not great. So we can click on it here and we can change it. We can use a custom domain if we have a pro account. This is a paid account. It's not included in the free account. You can have your custom domain, like say mylandingpage.com, add it right into Breezy. You can have your site hosted right in Breezy, everything done right in here in Breezy Cloud. 
no need to have a WordPress site. And the functionality of having multiple page sites is coming. Right now you're limited to one page, but the functionality is coming. And of course, as more and more features are added, the price goes up. If you get in early, a lot of companies grandfather you on the price. I don't know if Breezy will in my online career where companies increase the price, but my price stays the same because I bought in earlier. So that might be something to think about, getting a pro custom domain. With the free account that we currently have, we can also use the subdomain feature, which is what we have here. We have passion fruit and this number dot breezy dot site. I just messed it up, there we go. So this is our subdomain right here, and that is of course free. The one we're gonna to use today is server sync, which allows us to sync this to our server. In my case, I'm using SiteGround hosting. Hopefully you're using them too, because they're a great host. I'm gonna click on the download button here. If you don't have an account yet, if you just did this as I showed you, and you go in through your guest account, then you have to just sign up for an account with your name and your email address and the password, really simple. And that is what officially gets you into the free account. You might've wondered how I clicked start now and we started building without actually creating an account. Well, we create the account once we try to share this outside of just having a subdomain, for example, with the server sync. So all it is name, email address, and password, super simple. So now we've downloaded this little package here and we need to install this package or upload this package to our hosting account. So I'm gonna open my SiteGround account, then I'll go to my accounts, go to cPanel, scroll down, find the file manager, click on that. I'm gonna open the document root for one of my domains. Let's build with wp.com. And you can do this via FTP as well if you're more comfortable with the FTP folder. I'm just going to call this breezy and inside of this folder we're going to upload the folder we just downloaded from breezy itself so we're going to click on upload click on choose file I'm going to find it in my downloads I believe it's this one right here open that bottom right we see upload progress uploaded already zoom in a little bit so you can see it better I'm going to click on reload here is the file I'm going to click on it Extract, extract files, close, reload again. Now we have all the files in this breezy folder. I'm actually gonna take them out. I'll tell you why in a second. So I'm gonna select them all, click on move file, just delete this first breezy, go one level up. Now we have all our files in that breezy folder that we created, not the one that came from the zip file. I'm gonna delete the breezy folder that's now empty and the zip file just for sake of cleanliness and housekeeping. So now when we go to this website, which is, let's build, I forgot what it was already. Let's build with WP, there it was. Let's build with WP.com. We have a live website here, which you can see right here. Now if I go to forward slash Brizzy and hit enter, Within a few moments, the Breezy page is right here. And you notice the domain name is forward slash Breezy because that's the folder we created. If you wanted this to be the root of your domain, for example, let's build wp.com, you want this page to be there, you'd upload the zip file and extract it in the root. So not inside of a folder, but in the root domain, you wouldn't have any of these other files here, this is all WordPress files. So you'd have just a blank root folder for your domain and you'd upload that zip, extract it, and then you'd be able to get to this this landing page without having anything after the slash. This is there because we put it into a folder. And now we have our landing page, just like we built it inside of Breezy. But now watch this, it gets better. Let's change something. Let's go back to Breezy, click on edit page. And this reverted back to construction because I didn't do it properly. So let's make this welding. Again, click on update. And now I have not refreshed out here yet. So let's go to the first slide. It says construction company. Now if I refresh, fingers crossed, it should say welding company now. And there it is, now it says welding company. Now any change that we make in the Breezy editor, in the Breezy Cloud editor, is automatically synced to this page. This will be even more powerful once we have the funnel ability and the multiple page website ability. But even now you can create sub pages. We just put this one into a folder. You could easily create another page by going to create new page and call this your about page, for example, and then upload the sync file into a folder that you call about. Just make a new folder, call it about. You upload the sync file from 
the breezy cloud page, just like we did a moment ago for this page. You upload that sync file for this page to the about folder, and then you have the about page. And you have to manage each of them individually in here, so it's a bit cumbersome. It's not meant to work that way, but that is a way you could create a multi-page website using this free breezy cloud and not touching WordPress anymore. And you might be wondering, well, this is a WordPress channel, Bjorn, why are you talking about not using WordPress? Well, sometimes WordPress can be a bit of a pain. So if you have clients, for example, we saw that Breezy Cloud allows sub accounts for clients and you have, say, a really high maintenance client who doesn't know anything about websites, but they're always in there clicking things like update plugins and always breaking their site and who knows what they're doing inside the WordPress admin. You can create their site in Breezy Cloud and not have to worry about any of that. There are no plugins to update are no themes to update. There are no settings to change. There's nothing. There's just literally what we saw in this video and that's all there is to it. So you can have a high maintenance client who makes your life difficult because they mess things up in the admin, make your life not so difficult because it's all in Breezy Cloud. They may still have access to the landing page here, which they can edit. I don't think there's version capabilities for your updates. So when you update this page, you're not gonna be able to revert back to an older version. It's gonna double check on that. If we go into the editor, there might be some reversion options inside the settings. I don't see any here just with a quick look and I haven't heard of that feature. It'd be a great thing to have, especially if you have clients poking around inside the Breezy Cloud as a sub account. So to recap, Breezy is an awesome page builder, but Breezy Cloud is a game changer. It's something brand new. It's something to have in your arsenal to make your life easier. And like we saw earlier, if we go back out to here, Breezy Cloud, right at the very bottom. Right now you can get a free forever plan. I don't know if forever is flexible. Some companies uh, are very flexible about the word forever. So hopefully they're not, but they might be. And it's best to get in now and hopefully you can keep this price forever because really this is all you need. The only additional things are hosted domains and other pro features. I, I bet the funnel will be a pro feature. Oh yeah, in progress pro. So these are in progress and they're gonna be part of the pro platform. So finals analytics tracking collaboration are the newest pro features that will be coming soon. But if you don't need those, the free forever plan is great. The annual plan is also great. And if you purchase through here, you only get Breezy Cloud. This is pricing for Breezy Cloud. You do not, it doesn't say anywhere in here that you get the Breezy site builder for WordPress. But if we go to the homepage and we go to the pro, this is for the Breezy page builder you installed to WordPress. So these are the prices that you see here and you currently get complimentary access to Breezy Cloud for one year. These are annual subscriptions, so you get it for one year. And are they gonna change that in the future? I don't know, but it's a possibility. If Breezy Cloud really takes off, that could be its standalone thing. You're protected if you get the ultimate plan. This is one of the few page builders still offering a lifetime one-time payment, and it includes unlimited access to Breezy Cloud, and the only caveat, press the wrong button, only caveat is two years of hosted domains, unlimited hosted domains. Those are the ones you add into your Breezy Cloud account because it takes some extra resources to manage those. So they've only said for two years, will that be included? But I've heard that it's gonna be really cheap afterwards, like a, like a dollar a month maybe per hosted domain after this two years is up. So if you don't even use those, like we didn't use it in my case because we sunk it to our hosting account. So we didn't even use that. But if you wanna have domains inside Breezy, Limited to two years, even if you get the lifetime plan. But the lifetime plan is huge value. So if you wanna add Breezy to your arsenal, it's definitely a great page builder. There's a free version, so you can try it out. Just come to this site, go to the download button, it's on every page, and you will download Breezy right to your hard drive, and you can upload it as per the video that I have linked to in the description down below about Breezy. I'll show you how to do that. Just add your email address, download, or don't add your email, just click on this link, and it will download to your hard drive. You can use that on your site, see if you like it even the free version is very powerful. Just like the free version of Elemental is. If you never go beyond the free version of Breezy and the free version of Breezy Cloud, you're gonna be building great websites and have another tool in your arsenal to be better at what you do. So that's how Breezy Cloud works. I hope this video helps you. And if you're on the fence about getting it, I think you should because it's free, so why not? If it stays free forever, that's awesome. But if one day it's not free anymore, hopefully you'll be grandfathered with your free account and you have it because you signed up for it today. Just use the link in the description down below to the resources page, click through there, go to Breezy Cloud and you'll get it for free. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and leave a comment down below with any questions you may have or just say hi or 
whatever you want. Just leave a comment down below. And next up is this video up here, which is the first Breezy video that I referenced in this video where I show you all the cool features Breezy has, and that's in the WordPress component not in the Breezy Cloud component. So check that video out here. That's also a free plugin. And down here is the video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.